Oh, I, uh, let me clarify. For some reason, they joined me. I don't know oh, why they joined me. Never mind. Okay, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> do you know how? Uh, I thought I saw something there. No, never mind. How do you do it? Um, never do it? Never mind? Yeah. So I would... Yeah, go ahead. The, I was lonely, and, very lonely and sad. That's true. Um, I'd say that's a sign of something. Nope. That's a consequence mm -hmm. of something. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right there. That's the consequences of something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Well, <coughs> He feels special. So would that be like he's getting my mm -hmm. challenge? The pattern is a repetition of a theme, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you look for the differences in the pattern. Okay. Right? But um, um, 
Now, you can either, I see in a dream, you can look at the states of mind and talk about each of these highs and lows. And if you do that, right, that's one way of getting further into the dream, and you get the states of mind. And as a result, you might, given enough time, stumble upon the answer to the question. It, it, you know, it's quite possible. Now, um, uh, You see, you have to ask yourself, um, there's one line in there. Uh, what was it like when you said on page two, I didn't know what to say to Pierre after I got the reward? What was that like? What was that like in the dream? At that moment? Um, Not after, but when you got the reward, award. Surprise. Surprise. More dull? Uh, tired? Uh, Optimistic. What? Optimistic. I don't know. Too many letters. Optimistic. Uh, more bright. What? More bright. Um, more bright. Possibility of success. What? A possibility of success. Uh, that's consequences. You got the award in the dream at that moment. What was it like? Happy. You're called what? Happy. 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 Uh. Well, what's that like? Come on, happy. I'll use that word. Go ahead. More. Um, wait a minute. I was confused. A little bit confusing. No, no. At the time you got the reward. At the time. Not later. Why is that hard to see? Okay, just happy. Okay, take what you can get. You know. Um, like, you, have you been happy before in your life? Yeah. Well, where would you rank this one? In the dream. Yeah. On the bottom? Come on. These are all the times you've been happy in the past. Right? I want to know where we should put this experience. And it's difficult to answer because it's tainted by the previous... No, just this stage, not previous. Well, the implications are much more significant. Nope. I just want that state, what it was like when you got the award, that's all. Uh, surprise and happy. Happy and surprised? Um, Alert? Alert, yes. Huh? More? Um, curious. Curious? Um, More? What kind of curiosity? A little bit? A lot of bit? Half a bit? A lot. A lot? Come on. Um, this has the... I'm describing the reasons for it again. Um... Yeah, it, it, it's not a super, super happy sort of feeling because it's more, it's more I'm looking up out of a swamp and, but I can see that there's a light. Um, it's a, it, Let me ask you again, man. see, in your past, you've had episodes when you were happy. Here they are. 
Where would you rank this one among all of these in the past? Higher, lower, what? Alert, right? A lot curious, happy, surprised. I'm still lonely. Hmm? I'm still lonely in that moment. So, I'm, what's that like? Still wondering. Still no, still lonely. Come on. Still wondering. Put that in. That's happy. Okay. But also wondering. Pleasantly? No, not pleasantly. No, no. That's a consequence. Really? No good. Just the state. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, sorry, I was still lonely, not wondering. So there was still, it was sort of bittersweet. No good, Damn. sorry, no good. Okay. That's after. Let me ask you again. Hey, you've been happy in the past. Where would you put this experience in comparison with all the others? The ten. What? Top. On the top? Yeah. Thank you. And the whole dream is in the next sentence. Go ahead. I thought that maybe this will change things. Right. What do you want? What do you want to know? What do you want to happen? Change. What? Change what? Elephants? Change my circumstance. Uh, no, come on. My happiness. No, yes. you got happy. In your dream, what are you looking for? What are you looking for for change? What do you want to see change? It's there in the dream. Read it. My life will go better and I won't be so sad and lonely anymore. So loneliness. I thought that this, maybe, maybe this will change things. But it didn't change much. How did you judge that? Because, read it. I'm embarrassed to read it. What? Because... No because no one came up to me. That's right. More. Come on, read it. Because uh, no one came up to you. Right? And, and acknowledged me or my award. What are you looking for for change? Among cabbages and kings or people? People. You want them to what? To, to acknowledge. Yeah. Say that. I too many letters. To, to like me. me. What? To like me. Yeah, acknowledge, like me before what I'm for. I got right. You want them to like you. You want this to make. Come on. To make people like you. Like me. Right. Right. It should. Come on. It should make them like me. Right. Hmm. What are you laughing about? What do you think about that? It sounds... What? Shallow, vacuous. It sounds bad to hear. I don't care about whether it sounds bad or good. We're joking. We're looking at a dream. Now, what right, are you looking yeah. for in the dream? You're looking at others to see if they're going to what? If they're going to like me. You want them? Right. It should make them like me. Yeah. Right. Right. And if you don't see that, what happens? Uh, I get disappointed. Right, right. <laughs> Is that a guess? Is it a guess? Okay, look. See, don't listen, okay? You have to talk to these people. Okay, I'll be over here. <laughs> This guy's this guy got in a great state of mind, see? Right? And what happened? What's it called? 
counterattack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Bang! Right, a counterattack. It wiped out that state. Yeah. Is that right? Is that what happened? Uh, is that what happened? Louder? Yes. Well, let me check. Hey, is that right? Um. Good beginning. I do that myself. Look here. Right? What's going on? Would you like to get into that state, sir? Yes. Uh, women don't, do they? Are they? No, we, you too? No, yes. Oh. Uh, you too? Um, let, yeah, me, let me check one of the strange women. Hey, mm -hmm. Miss? Yeah. Would you like to get in that state? Sure. Oh, what were you, <laughs> how much would you pay to get into it? A lot. Ten bucks? Oh, 20? <laughs> yeah. And if you could stay in that state, what would you, uh, what would that be like? Hey, what would that be like? That would be really good. What? Really good. Really good. Yeah. Uh, would you count him among the finishers? What kind of people get in that kind of state? Yeah. What kind of What kind of people try to do various things to get into that kind of state? Oh, uh, you know any uh, Buddhists? No, no, not, not the word. <laughs> Buddhists. No. Buddhists! Do they try to get into that state? Yeah. Oh, and if they do, what are they called? Dopes? Huh? No shit. I shouldn't. Have been. No. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. But what happened? Yeah. Look here. This is a counterattack. That's what we call a counterattack. You want to see changes among others. Is it changing you? But it doesn't matter because your standard is, for some reason, which we want to look at, is this. You have to get approval and love from others or you're not feeling good. By the way, how do you feel when you're in it? Good. The hell with them. Now, you find that troubling? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. To, to want that puts a really low ceiling on what I can achieve. Yeah, okay, now watch that. Next one, okay? What's it like in the dream, right, when this occurs? Right? When you want other people to do this, what's that do to you? What state of mind does that put you into? Come on. Bad. Bad. More. Come on. More. <sighs> Bad. Horrible. More. Uh, the zero on that scale of one to ten. Pardon? Uh, zero. Bad. Bad. Not more. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, Where does it hit you physically? Here. Right there. Okay. Good. I'm good at drawing figures. Right, right there, right? Go ahead. Chest, go ahead. Yeah. Um. Um, my breathing feels shallow. Your breathing, what, what does it do to your breathing? It stills it. Shallow. Yeah. Yeah, what? Steals it. Pardon me, go ahead. No, it takes it away. It takes it away, right? Um, right, right? Makes it go very shallow. Very shallow. It's yeah. the absence of life. Yeah. Yeah. You got that state of mind? That's a state of mind, isn't it? Yeah. How old are you? That's a state of mind you got in your youth. Care to do it? Yeah. Good. How old are you? Um, there's one scene that's right there, and then there's a desire to push it back earlier because... Go ahead. I'll take it earlier. Earlier. Five? 
Five. What? How old? Yeah, maybe five. Yeah, yeah. Come on, five years old. Go ahead. Um, I I was. No. Okay. Um, I would just uh, rake the leaves from the front path. For the hold first it. Time. Hold it. I happen to be good at drawing leaves in the front yard. Okay. Yeah, there's leaves, and I was raking it. Um, Go ahead. And it was the first time I've done it, and I was I spent a lot of time doing it, and I finished. Uh, what was it like? I was happy. Yeah, I was yeah. proud of. Yeah, come on, you're happy. You did something. You as a kid. Come on. Yeah, I was happy and proud. Proud more. Come on. Um. A bright. I'm um, curious. Oh, yeah. And then my dad came in. Okay, wait a minute. Here he comes. Go ahead. And, and he very aggressively took the rake from me. Right. And re raked it. And then he does it. Yeah. And he's complaining about wasting, about, um, Having to like, if you want something done well, you got to do it yourself. And I did it. Bad Hold it. Job. Hold it. If you want to, if you want something done do it well, yeah, do it yourself, right? Yes. You have to. You have to do it yourself, right? Right. And he's very angry. Hold it. And he's very angry. Right. Yeah, that's great. Ha <laughs> ha, you got him. Hey, watch. Right? Yeah. You got everything you need. What's he doing? He's trying to shut down my light. What, what kind? What's he trying to do? <coughs> Turn off my light. What? Turn off your... Light? Yeah, yeah, but uh, that's not enough. What's enough. he doing? He's... Give me a name. What's he doing? Oh. Uh, he's... He's that general from the other dream. What? He's... I'll tell you. You don't know, okay? He's being nice and kind. No, and... he's being mean and nasty and cruel and... Oh, oh, cruel? More... Um, uh, he's silent. Si what's the name of someone who silences people? Um, uh, yeah, come on. He's taking away my pride. At that moment, come on. He's cruel. What else? Mean. Mean. Um... language for this. He's, what? I, I'm, I don't know the language for this. He's taking away my sense of... personal accomplishment? Yeah, that's true. No, it's not. Hey, good. that's true. No. Um, that's true. He's cutting down... Yeah. He's cutting me down. Yeah, yeah. Well, why does he have to do that? Because he's a yeah. Go ahead. Um, Why does he have to do that? Because I'll get better. What? Because I'll get better. Pardon me? I'll get better. Nah. No. Try again. Um, why is he doing that? What? Why is he doing that? Uh, Have you... You have to tell me what he's doing, and therefore, why is he doing it? What's he doing? If you can't tell me what he's doing, you can't tell me why he's doing it. He's and if you don't know why he's doing it, you can't give him a name. Whew. Why is this difficult to see? See, look here. Everyone has all the information they need to solve their own problem. 
The dream is giving him what he needs and it surfaces the very problem his father has. What does this mean? Say it again. If you... He's furious. He's Come furious. On. Say it the way he would have said it. Go ahead. He goes... I'm raking leaves. He goes... Come on. So he came and he take it off me and he goes, if you bloody want the job done well, you have to bloody do it yourself. And he's very angry and he does it very a lot quicker than I did it. Hey, what did you, where are you doing? I'm watching him destroy everything I made. Bah, what are you doing? Standing there in silence. Hey, you're happy, proud, courageous, correct? Yeah. Curious? Curious. Having fun doing it? Yeah, and then I was crushed. Crushed. As far as you're concerned, how are you doing? Great. Yeah, I'll give an A. What's yeah. he afraid of? Me getting an A? Why? If he holds, if he believes this, go ahead. Then, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. That, that means others can do well. <laughs> You're getting better. Come on. <coughs> if you want to do so hey, if you want to do something, you want it done well, you got to do it yourself. Yeah. But how are you doing? Well, so that's wrong. I'm proving that belief wrong. Oh. Oh. And probably undermining all this oh. anger and tension and feeling like he has to do it all himself. Oh. That he's been through. You mean he's seeing that his own son is doing what? Doing very well. Good. And what is, does that fit his belief? Or does it contradict it? That's a pretty narcissistic what? belief. That's a pretty stupid belief. Who cares? It's a belief. It people, contradicts it, does Hey, people only have stupid beliefs. That's what's wrong with the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it proves it wrong. But he's sharing a fundamental belief he has, doesn't he? He's, oh, he's he's, share, he's he's teaching you his belief. Yeah. And for you to accept that, what does he have to do to you and what you're doing? Crush. Ah, <laughs> clever, isn't it? No, it's horrible. Huh? That's horrible. No, it's not. It's human. Is it? People are horrible. Why are people so damn horrible? Because they got these beliefs. That's why they're horrible. Normal. And these beliefs come from these scenes. Of course, it's done all the time. So the only way for people not to be horrible is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you doing at this moment? Um, the Dharma successorship. Oh, what could you have told them at that moment? Said, hey, moron you're ruining what i've done and you don't you shouldn't crush me just to adhere to a stupid pathologos tradition of what the last part a stupid pathologos tradition yeah that's true two fancy words too fancy. i don't know path of what um i don't know that's kind of shit the I belief that you have in this dumb tradition yeah, is wrong get, get rude come on make it simple uh, get rude um well first of all that's an a really asshole belief to have. It's a really stupid and cruel belief to have. And it's not something you should pass on to other people. Where was your mother? Um, probably inside in yeah, the kitchen. Allowing it to go on. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so she's the puppet master, is she? Yeah. <laughs> that always happens. Don't worry about it. Oh, well. Yeah, we always allow someone in the family to play out their game. It's too difficult to challenge it. Hey, so uh, what do you want to say he's doing? What he's, do you want to call him for doing this? Uh, what's the word for that? Um, what? He's crushing, crushing. Hmm? I don't know what the word is. There should be clues in here. Let's Sherlock Holmes. Let's yes, I need a name for the dude. Come on. What's, um, what's he doing? Well, he's... I want to say murder, because all these metaphors are all like around 
Okay, go ahead. Like murder. Like he's killed. Psychic murder. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like but my internal you, state of mind. It's, yeah, that, that's true for every game, by the way. Oh. Every person's problem. It's exactly the same. So we need it more particular, see? Okay. Like there he is doing it. You got a picture of him, you just said it. Yeah. Right? You're there. Right? And if you could put into words what you're seeing right now, what would you tell him? He's screwing everything up. Hey, He's, what about what the hell about? That's bullshit. That's wrong. You've been lied to and you're screwing everything up. Hey, hey you know what? what? He's at war with this state of mind, isn't he? He doesn't want you to be in this state of mind, does he? No, he doesn't. Because that can be an excellence. So why right? is he... You enjoy doing it. It was excellent as yeah. far as you're concerned, right? And he's looking at it. Hey, are you going beyond his belief? Mm -hmm. So what has he got to do? Live with someone who goes beyond him? Hell no. Right, cut his legs off. Psychically. Just to be top dog. Yeah, make him make him a dwarf. What? Just to be the tyrant. Yeah, that way he can still be powerful, can't he? Yeah. You're gonna walk away and you're gonna feel if he's right. I'm gonna feel like crap. Then you're alone. Mm -hmm. Hey, when you left the scene, what did it do to you? You accepted this. Does that mean now you're cut off from this stage? Come on. Whenever you got into that kind of state, what would you do? Shut it down. That's right. That's right. To, to keep the belief that he has to do everything himself. Yeah. Yeah. He has the belief that he's Better than it? No. Not better. Is yeah. it? It doesn't look like he likes competition, does he? <laughs> no, he doesn't want... What? Are you competing? Are you competing with this scene? He's showing you something, isn't he? Yeah. He's trying to show you that he's doing better than you. Showing all that emotion, right? He's putting on a big show uh, to prove that he's better at me by screwing up what I've done and pretending that it was screwed up to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Why does he feel he has to convince a child that he's better in what? such a? St Why does he feel he needs to convince a child? Oh, that he's that's better? easy. His dad did it to him. And you know why his dad did it to him? Why? His dad did it to him. What did his dad do to and him? And you know, hey, you know how far it goes back? How to the cave. Which cave? Any cave. Any cave. <laughs> this is ancient. This passes on from generation to generation. If you don't see it, you're going to do it to your kid. To the beginning of human civilization? That goes all the way back, man. Yeah, there's no date on it. <laughs> So the first prime. Hey, did you know your grandfather? Yes or no? Yeah. How was he? Well, uh, when I saw him in real life, he was old and quiet. Didn't say anything. Didn't do anything. He was like a blob of a man. He what? He was a blob of a man. How's he similar to your father? How much did he pick up from his own father? We pick up all of hey we pick up we pick up all our beliefs from our father and our mothers. They're our first teachers. See, he doesn't know this is having the effect it's having. He just has to do it. If you were to talk to him about this, what would he say? The first thing he'd say is, 
I don't remember it. The second thing is, we've always talked about. You know, you've always talked about what you think, no, what you feel is true. <laughs> um, What's, what is he doing? He's he's putting it down. He's doing that same thing. That's right. So the path I had cleaned with the re with the leaves, and I spent like a good couple of hours doing it because it was my first time. And when he came to fix it. It was clearly not broken, so we had to sort of mess it, up. mess it all up. So when I'm saying, look, this is the scene, this is what happened, I want to address it because, not because I want to blame you, I just want to be free of it. Um, he'll try and mess up, oh, that's not what happened, oh, you're not seeing it right, or that, that's just what you feel, or he's, he's pretending what is happening isn't happening. Sure, same thing. Yeah. And blaming me for it. Of course. When in order to prove when, that he's talking. When in off. fact, how are you going? How are you doing? Better than him. Excellent. Excellent, yeah. By the way, oh. whenever you try to get into anything excellent, finish it. You may then feel that you're violating. What's it like? I understand you're trying to get into music. Yeah. What's it like? Uh, I've learnt more in three days than I have in the last ten years. Sure, but what what voices are you listening to that you have to deal with to go on for three days and learn? voices I have to deal with. You ever put it down when you should have gone on? Can you understand when you were interrupting your own studies, what caused it and what thoughts and moods and feelings came in to pull you off on a tangent? thinking about what Nancy said. What? The fear of inevitable failure. That's right. See, the shadow of this is still present and you're dealing with it because you want to excel and you want to understand yourself. Yeah, I do. Yeah. What do you think of the dream? By the way, you didn't want, you didn't tell me a name for him. Right. So it's not finished. Right. So he doesn't know what he's doing to me, but he has to do it to maintain this. I don't care about him. I want you to tell me, put a name on him, what she's doing. Oh, okay. He's Given what he's saying and what you're doing, what, you, what, what, what do you want to say? Um, he's chopping me off at the knees. He's, he's dwarfing me. If that's true, then what should you have told him? Right then in the spot. If you could have, of course you couldn't. But you can now. Um, I, 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 there's so many threads, I don't know. What, what can I say? First of all, cut it out. Hmm. Second of all, what the hell? And then third, maybe, why? Are you at war with my success? See, all of that is true, but you're not dealing with what he is doing. He's trying to be the knower. He's what? Trying to be the knower and pass on the teaching. He's a shit teacher. That's a good name for him, but uh, they're not quite accurate. But I uh, you get as much as you can. <sighs> Why do you keep saying that? Well, it's not bad. It did pretty good. No, but you know that I... I one excellence in what I do. This dream is clearly saying that. So, um... Oh, now you're using excellence. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, now put it, what are you doing? I'm desiring, seeking excellence. I'm doing good, Tim. I don't know. Don't look at me. I don't know nothing. 
What's the question? Not, no, no, I don't know. Uh, you just saw that this was an example of excellence. You just said yes. it. Yes. So what? So what? What's that got to do with this? He's shutting down my ability to, to participate in, in excellence. baseball, soccer, weather, in everything. Bush. In, oh. Believe in what? He's, he's belief, he's passing on a belief. Yeah, okay. All right. He's shutting down my ability to participate in excellence in. Oh, that's getting better. Anything. Oh. Any sort of excellence. What would that do if you were to tell them that? Hey, Dad, you know what you're doing? Hey, Dad, you're shutting down my ability to participate in excellence in any way. Oh, better, better. But what does that do to you? It destroys me. It shuts me down there. It yeah. What is it? Okay. What does this discussion do to you now that we've reached this point? What's it like going through this dream, talking about it? Good. It's good. No. no. Um. What's it like going through? Worthwhile going through it? Oh, definitely worthwhile. Yes, it is. Why is it worthwhile? Because I'm seeing the blocks that I have to participating in excellence and what I want to do in each. Oh. Oh, that's not good enough, is it? Mm. Um, I want to maintain that state of excellence. Mm. Um, okay. My, my goal to know myself will require me. If you really get excellent, yeah. you'll be like you're now late raking up the leaves. Mm -hmm. And you then may get scared as hell for some reason because you don't know it's linked to this. And therefore you could give it up once you reach excellence. Like many people do, right? Well, there are many artists, they reach a high point, then they quit. Yeah. That's why, you see? Because I'm so, afraid of somebody coming in and... Yeah, yeah, because, you, because they, they haven't done this kind of reflection. But the more you see what's going on, you can anticipate it. Oh, oh I'm supposed to give this up. Oh. See, that's why it's important. This dream is very important. You're going after excellence. That's okay. When you get it, just like when you're raking the leaves, and you're doing real good, and you're happy doing it, that's when he comes on with a fury to knock you out. But then anyone who doesn't participate in that, if they see me in this good state, will come at me with their fury. Well, when you reach excellence, this possibility then is less likely the more you see this might occur. This is a warning dream. But then if everyone who hasn't gone through this relates to excellence with fury, how does one live a safe life and still... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know those things. Here you go. <laughs> oh, again, I was judging my success on how others relate to me. So in asking... What does one do in that state of excellence? I don't know what one does. You can tell me. Come on, you can tell me. I don't have to tell you. You tell me. What do you think you should do? Uh, okay. I don't know. What? So a lot of people who are famous artists have security guards. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this seems like a real problem. Like, if if one is an artist and one has to be in perform in public and show that high state of mind, then doesn't that want immediately make one a target for everyone's fury because everyone's at war with that state within themselves? So what do you do about it? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably not a question that needs to be asked. No, I've I've, I've had enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to tell me from now on. I, I don't know nothing. Come on, what do you think? I think I need to have a label on what this guy was doing. Yeah, I don't know about that. 
Say, what are you going to do with your music? Excellence. Oh, oh. When you become more excellent or reach that point of excellence, what might occur? People around me will start, or I will think people around me, no, people around me will relate to that state of excellence according to their pathologos. Hey. They may not give it down. They might not give it down. They may just like your music. The hell with you. <laughs> In that, where is your happiness? And from them or in yourself? If I'm in myself. Oh, and achieving excellence? You're happy? That's the only goal you're going to have. The more you look for them to be converted, good luck. It'll never happen. But then how do you say so? Why? The only happiness comes out of yourself. The hell with them. Whether they like you or they don't like you, so what? What's that got to do with you? <laughs> Fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. Curious? Yeah. All right. But then? Go back. Is it all there? Come on, look at the dream. Right? Is it all there? <coughs> is that me? Like, how important is it to go back to the roots of it? See, he's only going to tell, he'd say, his crisis is going to come when he reaches excellence, isn't it? Yeah. So the more he then reflects on this, the less it's going to have that unknown power. It's going to, once it loses its power, then it's just another thought. Good, okay. How about another ring? Who's got one? What would the union do with this dream? You know, I think he would, they would focus on the Pierre figure as, as being, I don't know, somebody who gives them uh, hope or gives them, puts a pin on their shirts, gives them an award. I don't, I don't know exactly. It'd be nice to get it to them. Do you want a dream? You got one? Uh-huh. Good! I'm concerned about it. <laughs> it seems weird that there's no talking mm -hmm. and there's just um, and that second dream that feeling honored like I did with my mother I find that creepy. Yeah, if that's true what does that do to the dream? The second dream. Then it means the whole dream is um, is um, not not me. That's right. And that um, for yeah. not me, not for me. For me, yeah. 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 That's true. How about the first part? 
Bruce Street? Yeah. Well, that girl, like I say there, she, she was someone who I always looked up to, but she never talked either. Yeah. She always... Yeah. And... Um, so, I, again, I'm worried that, that this whole working with her... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we have these account pages like ledgers. It, it seems very mechanical and we're feeling good about how much we've done. But, um, and like we're moving right along and doing it well, but there's no substance to That's anything true. here. That's true. Absolutely right. Within it, are there difficulties? Take the first strand. Well... No, everything you're saying is true, mm-hmm. okay? But go ahead. What's the problem internally in the first strand? Want to read it aloud? Okay. I was with a girl who had been in a st- statistics course with me as a graduate student at UCI. She was the blonde-haired girl who I thought was very smart. I found out later that she had severe <coughs> asthma and died horseback riding with her husband. She was kind of a yes person who smiled a lot but didn't say much. She was always with another student who was the talkative one. I remember when I heard that she had severe asthma, I thought, not surprising. Okay, back to the dream. We were riding together in the cafeteria of a local grade school. They allowed us to use the space after the lunch hour was over and cleaned up. Now it was early afternoon, and it was when the cafeteria turned into a real estate office. We saw the white shirts come in and sit at their desks, and we were feeling hurried to wrap it up since the security guards were also now seemingly taking on new positions. We felt good about how much we had done and went over to the wall to the special button we could push to open up a shelf where we kept our writing materials. A security officer was nearby uh, at that moment and we mentioned something to him about our just saving our materials and that we hoped we weren't so late that any of our stuff was being erased since we had heard that's what happens, that, that that's what happens. He actually told us that we were good and that we could just continue writing as far as he was concerned. He assured us that nothing would happen to our writings. Um, so, I mean, it's all, it feels all very, like, futuristic and totally mechanical and creepy. It's just creepy. Um, glad yeah. to hear that. Yeah, it's creepy. It's creepy. What's creepy especially about that? Uh, it's all mechanical and, yeah. Yeah. you know, we have no control. Like, if you, if you put your materials in the drawer too late, the computer automatically starts to erase the memory of your materials and it's out of our control and very cold and robotic, no, soulless. There's no soul here. And even the grade school has been infiltrated by the this corporate real estate concern no. that just moves in after the lunch hour and yeah. people take their seats and... Yeah. By the way, within it, uh, mm-hmm. see, you're making judgments. What do you think of the judgments you may Take the first paragraph. What do you see? Well, okay. Um, so we were writing together They allowed us to use the space. Um, um, yeah, so I see the focus is on the circumstances of the cafeteria. First paragraph. Right. Well, I'm writing, I was with a girl, and we were writing together yeah. in the cafeteria of the local grade school. They allowed us to use the space 
after the lunch hour was no. over and cleaned up. Let me ask you again. Uh -huh. You're making a judgment in the first paragraph. What judgment are you making? Read it. We saw the white shirts come in and sit at their desks, and we were feeling hurried to wrap it up since uh, the security guards were also now seemingly pick, taking pick on. Where you make position. a judgment. In the first paragraph. When we see the real estate people come in no, with their work. No, first oh, That um, we're feeling hur hurried? What? We're feeling hurried? Judgment. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Judgment. Um, come on, hmm. looking at your judgment. Come on. Who I thought was very smart. Yes. The blonde. Good. All right? Uh-huh. First judgment. She is very smart. Right. Yeah. What was your evidence for that in terms of the dream? Only my memory of... That was a memory I had of my judgment back when we were in graduate school. In terms of the dream, what evidence do you have that she's very smart? Well, I, I don't see any what? evidence that she's smart. Do you see anything that goes against it? No. Oh. Well. But we're writing together, so I thought that meant... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was copacetic or something. Yeah. Uh, how how do you describe her? She's very smart, you say, because yeah. what's the evidence? Read it. Well, she was um, kind of a yes person. Yeah, that means she's very smart. Yeah. yeah. A yes person. Yes. Yeah, she, she was... What else? She smiled a lot. Yeah, and she smiles a and lot. And didn't say much. And doesn't say much. That yeah. means she's smart. Yeah. What do you think of that? Well, actually, I think that's sometimes people people do make that judgment that people you, are in the dream. Um, are, uh, it's bogus. I Thank don't you. think it's Thank you. anything. What are you judging in the dream? Come on. I'm judging her not talking. Hey, oh, yeah, she smiled because, a lot hey, and didn't she's say anything. smiling. Right, she's yeah. a yes person, mm -hmm. right? And doesn't talk. And she doesn't talk. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't, didn't say much. Yeah. Right. And she was with someone who did talk a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't think much of her. You didn't say she was smart, but this no. one who didn't, yeah, yeah. Right. What, do you, what kinds of judgments do, does it appear you are making in your dream? Give a grade for that kind of thinking. Delusional? Yeah, superficial. Um, baseless. Yeah. There's, there's nothing, yeah. no, But nothing you're caught there. up with what? See, she's a yes person, she smiles a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Some appearance. Yeah, yeah. That's right. superficial, yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's all appearance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's that's going right. on in the... Uh, see, it's rather curious, isn't it? It's a study of judgments. Um, well, it's an important conclusion you get about the security guards. Uh, what's your judgment about the security guards? Oh. Well. Well, it was... Um, it was... Um, it was 
smooth. Smooth. More. And the dream. Well, there was no problem. They said we could just continue. You read it. We felt good about how much we had done mm -hmm. and went over to the wall mm -hmm. to the special button we could push to open up a shelf where we kept our writing materials. A security officer was nearby at that moment and we mentioned something to him about our just saving our materials and that we hoped we weren't so late that any of our stuff was being erased since we had heard that that's what happens. He actually told us that we were good and that we could just continue writing as far as he was concerned. He assured us that nothing would happen to our writings. So. Why did you stop reading? That was the end of the second paragraph. I said, uh, are you sure? Oh, and then glad to hear that. We, we no, sat no, back down no, on no, that. I probably misread it. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did you read them? Did you miss the last sentence again? Twice. Oh, he, why. Assur he assured us that nothing... Yeah, go ahead. Read it again. He, he actually told us that we were good and that we could just continue writing as far as he was concerned. He assured us that nothing would happen to our writings. Go ahead. Glad to hear that. We sat back down on the long cafeteria table where we had been before. I was mainly working on the borders of our pages. These were long pages, like pages of old account ledgers. I didn't know what we were writing. I don't know what we were writing, but she and I were a team on this, and we were proceeding in a way that suited both of us. We were pleased with our progress. I think the other girl had to leave, and I stayed working on it. Maybe we were putting gold on the borders. I don't know what it was, but it was work. And we were moving right along and doing it well. Now, yeah, would you please finish it? And as I type this up, it seems like we had a sense of urgency and subversiveness. That was while I typed it out. I guess I, I maybe. What about the security guards in the end of that sentence? What does it say? He assured us that nothing would happen to our writings. No. Maybe I have a different one than you have. Well, he told us we were good. Yeah, I, I was on that last sentence. And that we could just continue writing as far as he was and concerned. Would you tell me about the security guards for the fifth time? Oh, man. Let's see. <coughs> He was nearby, security officer was nearby. Is that what you're? Six. Six? No, five, I'm counting how many times I have to ask you the same question. What did you learn about the security guards in the last sentence? He assured us that nothing would happen. Maybe, maybe you have a different one than I have. Let me <laughs> just take a look. No, it's the same as I have. Well, what are you? Do you circle it in red or something? Well, I just ask you, why don't you just read the last, uh, did I say the last sentence again? Yeah. Yeah, eight, go ahead. Second paragraph? No, first. First paragraph? Yeah, about the security guards. Oh. Oh. We were feeling hurried to wrap it up since the security guards were also now seemingly taking on new positions. Oh, what does that mean? That means they were walking to a new position. To a new position on yeah. the floor. Yeah. Changing positions? Yeah. Oh. Changing positions. Oh. Uh, would they then would that security guard then be changing positions? Yeah. Yeah, could he uh, fulfill his interest in preserving your writing if he keeps changing position? I don't think it has well, much, I, I much I just want to just stay in the dream. He's, you're making judgments in the dream. We're yeah. just looking at them. So what are they doing? They're changing positions. Yeah. Yeah, what does that mean? They're going to leave where they are now and go somewhere else? 
Yeah, they might walk 10 feet over and stand yeah, by a yeah, pillar. They're going to change positions. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, if they change positions, is, is it possible they may not be there to do what you want them to do? Well, we don't have any. They're, they're there for the real estate people and the exchange of money. I want to just stay with the security. They're not for this us. This is a dream that's looking at your judgment. Right, right. Right. And is it important for you to know that the security guards are going to fulfill their promise in the first paragraph? It is. Yeah. It, yeah. Since Does I mentioned it. Does that mean it. he'd have to stay where he is in order to do that? Would he have to stay there to no. preserve it? No. Well, then what does it mean that he's changing his positions? He's going somewhere else. Just checking. What do you think? I think, he's again, He's loading it's... up, isn't he? He's allowed to use the space. And, and uh, do you expect he's going to be there to safeguard your stuff? Mm. Is that the conclusion of the first paragraph? I'll just say that, and that we hope we weren't so late that in our stuff was, we were good and that he could, we could just continue as far as he was concerned. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, they did have authority. They could have, they could have said, no, your stuff's going to be erased. But it had nothing to do with their position. That was trivial. It says here, we were feeling hurried to wrap it up. Oh, yeah. Since the guards were taking on new positions. That's true. That means they're leaving. Mm, oh, no, they, well, they were changing positions. It was like now they were becoming more, they were becoming scarier, more authoritative or something. They might crack down on us. Oh, that needs to be said, doesn't that it? That needs to be that said. That needs to be said, doesn't it? Yeah, because we were writers. Okay. We weren't real estate yeah. money okay. people. Okay, finish the way it is in the dream then. Go oh. ahead. What were the guards doing then? Oh, okay. So, um, we, so we were feeling hurried to wrap it up since the security guards were also now seemingly taking on new... Sinister positions against uh, sinister positions. against ideas. Yeah, right. That's right. That's good. Sinister, <laughs> right? What does that mean? Come on. Um, that they were against us. They were against you. They could hurt us. I'll be darned. They're going to hurt us. Against us. Mm -hmm. Hey, they're a threat. Yeah. By gosh. Yeah, it's true. And they're the ones you expect that are going to safeguard your stuff. What do you think of that? Well, so you're making a judgment. We're still looking at the kinds of judgments that are going on. Yeah. You know, what follows if they're sinister, they might hurt us, and they're against us? Well, I figured they had their finger on the pulse of what might happen to our writings. And so, while they themselves might not harm our writings, they would know the climate of the situation. They're sounding like they're sensors now, aren't they? Yeah, they're like sensors, yeah. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Right, like censorship, yeah. and I'm, I didn't write that down. Yeah, well, what does that do to you? Uh. If that's the case, you're worried about what's going to happen to your writing, and they're a threat. Yeah. Are you ignoring the threat, just worried about the papers? Come and tell me, I need to know. Because yeah, I'm, I'm not mentioning that. Huh? But I don't mention that, but yeah, that is the concern. Yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, it's I like, thought it's so. Like, yeah. It's like the yeah. word it's like the words I'm using are 
Uh, at one level, but really I have another concern. Yeah. Which is the content. Yeah. Now you're getting it. Yeah. What does weird. that do to your dream? A new level. It's like I've censored it. You censored <laughs> it. You censored your own dream, right? Oh my god. Yeah, that's right behind that security guard Shoot. changing positions. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now that you did so well with that, um, yeah. what do you see in the next paragraph? No, the same thing. Hmm. You're talking about dream number two or? Oh, no, the second paragraph. Come on. What's the problem in the second now that you're so good doing it now? You're talking about dream one still or dream two? Pierre. Are you talking about the second dream? No, the second paragraph in the first dream. Okay. We felt good about how much we had done. What's the problem in the second paragraph? I went over to the wall. To hey, the special just tell me. Okay. It's a problem with the special... Yeah, is it there or is there um, none? Let's see. What's the problem? Yeah. It's a judgment, same thing. The dream is all judgment. What kind of judgment are you making in the second paragraph? Well, I'm trusting that hmm? this I'm trusting the security agent who says nothing will happen. Thank you. To the right in terms of the story, uh, is that, is that, see that's your your view, right? Yeah. Nothing will happen. Yeah, I don't trust any of these guys, so it's weird. Nothing will happen. Except their authorities of some sort. After their authorities. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of, in terms of the dreams only? What's the problem? Read it. No, it's fun. They're not reading it. Well, I feel like I'm being the yes the yes person, like that blonde girl. Nope. Come on. Okay. So Second paragraph again? We felt good about how much... Um, tell me the meaning of the dream in terms of the word, fourth line, the word since. Read it. Okay. Um, since we had heard... Okay. Since we had heard that that's what happens. Go ahead. He actually told us that we were good. No, enough. What might happen? You've heard something may happen. Yeah. What? The, your text might be erased. Yeah. 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 Does that uh, have any effect on your actions in that second paragraph? Or do you ignore no. it? Do you ignore it? Yeah. That's right. It's a judgment call. Do you have some warning that, hey, something may happen? Yeah. Do you ignore it? Yeah. Ah. Curious, isn't it? What does that mean? Well, I don't think that's smart. I that's agree with smart. you, but we're in the dream, so just... What does that Take mean? a look at that as the dream. Right. See, this is the study of your judgment. Yeah. Right? Right. So now we're focusing on this one. And that phrase has an important role to play, doesn't it, in terms of that paragraph. You're ignoring what you know. Is that right? Right. Yeah, I'm not acting on what I know. Yeah. Which is creepy. Yeah. That means it's creepy. Right? Yeah. 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 I do this a lot. Yeah. yeah, and it's time to wonder why. Mm. Because you're engaged in other kind, the kind of thinking that's superficial. Yeah. 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 A third paragraph, that's probably nothing there. <sighs> is there? Mm. Or is there something there too? Well, very superficial. Go ahead, read it. Glad to hear that. We sat back down on the long cafeteria table where we had been before. I was mainly 
working on the borders of our pages. We were, I mean, they were long pages, like pages of old account ledgers. I don't know what we were writing, but she and I were a team on this. And we were proceeding in a way that suited both of us. Ugh. We were pleased with our progress. I don't know, this whole thing sounds so phony. This, I feel like I'm writing a smutty novel or something. I think the other girl had to leave and I stayed working on it. Maybe we were putting gold on the borders. I don't know what it was, but it was work, and we were moving right along and doing it well. Good. Ah. Now we're judging, not right now we're judging your actions in the, this paragraph, right? Okay. Okay, all right? So here you are doing something, Yeah. right? And now your dream is reflecting on it, isn't it, right? So um, yeah. what would you say about what you're doing? Something very trivial. Why do you say trivial? It sounds pretty good to me. Well, I'm putting, I don't even know, something about decoration on the borders of the pages. That's true. So there's no substance. No. Um, I'm Not good enough. Working as a team with the girl. Not good enough. We're pleased with our progress. Not good enough. You're not in the dream. Um... They were long pages? No. Like a kind of, It said um, twice. I don't know what we were writing. Thank you. Say it again. I don't know what we were writing. And again, does that repeat itself? I don't know what we were writing. Does that yeah. repeat itself? Um, so I you, don't know what it was, but it was work. Look, see. Oh, moving You're on. working, right? Working. On something. Yeah. About the content, what do you know? I don't know what it was. Yeah. What's that like? I don't know what we were writing. Yeah. But Ooh, decorating. What's that like? decorating. But decorating, and you don't know. <coughs> That's uh, giving up control. Mm. Being totally out of control. Yeah. 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 And your comment on the end is very good, isn't it? <laughs> I and, and the brackets or something? Oh, as I type this up, it seems like we had a sense of urgency and subversiveness to our work. Yeah. As I'm typing it up? Right, there's something subversive. Yeah. What does that mean, again, staying on it? Well, I think having the dream and Getting it out there, looking at it like this, is subversive. But you wrote that before you saw this. In the dream, you had a sense that there oh. was something subversive. Oh, to our work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's right. That's what does that mean? That means, hmm. If that thought is true, yeah. Do you know or don't you know? Got two different views. What are they? Well, just, yeah. Dec just working decoration okay. and there's nothing in it? No, there's a sense that there's something there. That's why they might want to erase it too. Oh, that there's something... Oh, yeah, subversive. because, hey... There, you're still in this, aren't you? There's, yeah. Yeah. So what are you writing? It looks like you're writing something that's... Important. What's the word again? Subversive. Yeah, what does that mean? That means that it can undermine mm. the beliefs of the... Yeah. But the way you're reporting it... Right, that I'm just decorating the edges and... Mm -hmm don't know what I'm writing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. If it is subversive, are you playing dumb? Very. Yeah. Yeah, it's playing dumb. Or... Well, you can't have it both ways. 
<laughs> Maybe I'm lying. Maybe no, no, there's... Just, the... Hey, it's your dream. We just deal with what you're dreaming. Right, about. okay. Right? Yeah. Come on. If this is subversive and you're in this kind of situation where there's censors and sinister people who are yeah. against you yeah. and they may hurt you and you're hiding from it, right? Yeah. So how are you looking and appearing? Like I'm dumb. Like her. Like, no, she can't talk. Yeah. Yeah. She was a yes person. Yeah. Smiled a lot and didn't say much. Yeah. yeah. Right. True. Hmm. Does this remind you of something that you're doing? Yeah. And you know where? Yeah. Mm. Going to continue that way? No, I, I need to get into the substance and acknowledge it and yeah. talk about it. And yeah. <laughs> Interesting. What is that going to take, Julie? Uh, Getting into content. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the scary part. Pardon me? That's the scary part for me. That's right. What do you find scary about it? Um, I guess, you know, I, I think ultimately I'm going to be told that the words, the substance is wrong or the whole thing is hey, not um, correct. These, uh, Sensors and sinister, and then I hurt you. And then, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Who is that? What's it like being among those guards that are sinister and then they hurt us and are against us? You know, it reminds me of that conversation I had with my uncle when I. Go ahead. How old were you? Well, I was about well, 17, actually. 17? Okay, I'll take it. But I was telling him that I was going to move to California. Yeah. And from Minnesota. And he said, why would you go to there? And I said, I want to go to Berkeley and get involved with uh, marching against the war. And, right? And go to Berkeley. And he said... Oh, there's nothing going on out there. You don't you don't want to join those people. And it was a whole sense. I could tell by his reaction that I was surprised by his reaction, but it seemed like I was really on to something given his reaction. Mm. And um, he was more, you know, stay here and make money and mm -hmm. and just do that rather than get into ideas. Don't fight for an idea or, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so it's the, it's the whole idea. Yeah, you have to hide it. Yeah, right, yeah, the ideas. Yeah, so if, if it's true for your uncle, uh, it's probably not true for anyone else at home, right? It's just your uncle is the... No, it's really everybody, even in my classroom, I mean, with my students, with the administration, yeah. The whole issue of ideas, fighting for an idea, is subversive. Talk, yeah, talk, uh, when? Come on, talk about it. When did you see them? Oh, hmm. Well, uh, what would happen at home if you uh, take that position? Oh, shoot. Ideas? What? We didn't talk ideas in my house. And if you ever did, what was it like? <laughs> what, what would they do to you? Talking ideas? Yeah. You know, they like to talk people. Like they would say, we are good, not what is good or what is goodness. 
They say, we are good Christians. Those people down there are not good Christians. So it was, it was all about people, us versus them kind of That's stuff. That's very much like the dream. Yeah, it was like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's looks right. Like, looks like you got to get out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. The, we yeah, don't, that's the, right. See, in the dream, we don't see you struggling against this yet. It's painting a picture of right. your situation. Right, right. That's right. right. So uh, it's giving a picture yeah. of the kind of thinking that's going on and the activities. But yeah. on reflection, you do reveal that, hey, this is dangerous and these are sinister people, right? You uncover a deeper level that's more true. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Are you, uh, having, are you thinking of writing something that uh, may be subversive? Yeah. <coughs> oh. Uh, is it possible that you may have that sense that uh, watch out for the authorities? Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, it looks like it's making a comment on that, isn't it? Yeah. But I just need to get into the content and just do it yeah. and not worry about the... <coughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But this dream is saying, to, to, don't fool yourself. It's, uh, you may run up against a certain opposition. So, so uh, by the way, mm, if you're, are you going to make a decision about how honest this writing you're doing is going to be? Since that allows different levels. Right? What would it be That's like if you were to write it's true as you see it? Are you compromising in any way on your writing? Well, <laughs> probably I will try to. <laughs> what? Compromise. Yeah. I mean, I'll have to see, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried about that. Uh, about put more content. words on it. Well, uh, I'm a bit worried about that. What the hell is that? Well, it seems like there's two levels of writing. Uh, let's go on the true. Like there's the no, more theoretical, no. and then there's the more personal. Hey. About my experiences. Yes, right. and you know the one that you want to write. Well, I want to write the more theoretical. Oh, that'll save you from writing the personal? Which one is more important, by the way? Well, the... The writing I've done on the personal level is so powerful. Oh. It, it blows me away. Yeah. And I feel like, oh, I don't deserve that because it's so revealing. Yeah. And it, it's amazing. That's hey. So by writing the other style, you'll yeah. escape that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you're going to do? <sighs> I don't know. Right? Yeah. So even when you read your own writing, you see that there's a danger, right? It has an effect of, on you just to see it. What to do? Uh, yeah, it really is revealing. Yeah. It danger? Really, it's powerful. I can't powerful. believe how powerful it is. Yeah. Have you decided to share it with anybody? You know, I share it in a writing group of people who are anonymous to me. <laughs> I share it with people who don't know me and will never see me again. And what are they? Because I feel embarrassed, like it's so revealing. 
Yeah. What do they do? You're not Nothing. allowed to say anything about yourself, are you? No. Yeah, I agree. Well, just give me that paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Pierre. But Julie, yes. uh, Pierre asked a question at the end, and I'm curious too. Despite the fact that uh, you have very little relationship with these people that you're sharing your writings with, I yeah. wanted to know, nevertheless, how do they respond? And I'm curious too. Right. They don't respond to, um, well, no, they, they say it's very powerful. They say it's powerful. But. What does that mean when they say that? It's very powerful. They say it's very captivating and it, it pulls them into it. Yeah. But you know what that means? What does that mean? I, I'll give you an answer. What? They're probably bored with it. Nope. Nope. Rather, They're, they like it. The There's name? something. Hi. They can identify with it. Yeah. Something meaningful. You're going to bury it? Bury it? Yeah, you're going to change your writing style and write about something that doesn't matter? No, I don't think so. Um, <coughs> Oh, God. Boy. Julie. Uh, on a level of one to ten, the writings that you have revealed, where are they on that scale? What's, what's the scale? The scale would be one to ten, where ten is the highest, most revealing, Thing you could, most subversive, therefore, thing you could write. Oh, <laughs> about a two, one yeah. or two. And that's captivating for them, just that much. Right. So can you consider what it might be like if you were to write a write a high onto a higher? Yeah. What yeah, would it really. be like? I don't know, the whole idea of writing about myself personally, about my own experiences is really, really difficult. No, it's not. Well, no, it's, it's easy. Not Wait a minute. It's, it's easy, not but difficult. It's, it's not difficult for you to write it. Yeah. Agree? Right. <laughs> but I... It's, but it's difficult to have written it. You know, I feel like I want, it's almost like pornography or something. I, I want to lay, give it a bad name, like, That's right. this is just trash. That's just, just like your uncle. He's right. Just, yeah. He's right. I knew it's it right away. Personal trash. Yeah. He's right. Don't you think so? No. No? You're going to go against them? Are you going to go to Berkeley? That's the issue, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to go to Berkeley? It's a war you're facing, isn't it? Yeah. You're revealing a war, aren't you? Yeah. And it's powerful. <coughs> and it moves people who hear it and read it. You got a hit, don't you? Yeah. And now you're yeah, afraid, afraid to show it. I have a way out. How? Give it to me. I'll put Barbara's name on it. <laughs> no, I, I, I'll welcome her. Oh, oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, oh. No, give it to Jen. Give it to Jen. <laughs> Jen needs the, give it to Jen. the accolades. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been wanting to write this for a long time, so. And? Hey. So I'm making, hey, I'm creating my life so I can do it. It's wait, getting wait, closer. Is it not likely that you're now close to a peak in your writing? Yeah. Yeah. 
and to reveal that is even more powerful than what you have up to this point written about. Yeah, that's true too. Just right? the fact that I could write. So you're at a crisis. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to watch out for those security guards. Right. They're, hey, they're always there. <laughs> hey, they're always there. You got to decide whether it's worth, you know, it's worth saying what you see. Right. The truth about what you see. Yeah. Tough decision, but you're doing it. Hey, you're doing it. Yeah, this has been interesting, revealing this. Yeah, you're doing it. Whew. Yeah. So, uh, when are you planning on writing the real stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I don't know. Come on, hey. You're heading for a peak, are you not? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take courage to do it. You got it. I have the courage. Yeah, you're already shown. You've gone this far with it. <laughs> Even though you're showing it to people who don't matter in one respect. Right. Yeah. But you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, that's a big step, isn't it? Right. Yeah, I'm working towards that. Setting up my house in a different way, so, you know, yeah. moving so I can get some space and yeah. making my situation more ideal mm -hmm. to do that. By the way, are you going to include in your writing stuff about the Young Ann Institute? I don't know. Why do you ask? Don't ask that. <laughs> come on. Well, I mean, I. Hey, in terms of how they address the on. self. You know why I ask that? It's important. Well, you do have a view of them, don't you? You do, pardon me, you do, do you not? What would happen if you put the truth about them? Well, I don't know exactly what, what you're... What? I don't know what you're referring to when you say oh, the truth baloney. about them. But I mean, I got into Jung because what? of his interest. Pardon me? I was interested in the self. <coughs> that was my attraction to Jung. So I mean, if I compare Jung with Parmenides and the self, you know, that would be an interesting uh, thing to write about. But I... But you can write about <coughs> your experience with that group. Yeah. And if you were to tell the truth, what would that be like? Well, what do you mean tell the truth? You mean talk about that group? I don't how know. superficial they are? I don't know. Talk about both Jung, tell the truth about what you know about Jung and about the people that you relate to about the Jung. And because I'm, this is just a beginning. I was going to have two more steps to go yet. Okay, what are they? Huh? What are they? Why should I tell you? So that we get it out here. No, I want to stay on this one for a while. So, uh, could you not also write about the Noetic Society? Absolutely. Oh, and Buddhists? And your experience with Buddhists? Yeah, yeah. And also psychologists? Yep, yeah. At the university? Yeah, and, and research, yeah. yeah. Well, if you tell the truth about all of those, is that going to go in your book? Well, these would all be different books. Hmm? I, I think these are all different books. No, no, you can put your personal experiences and all of them in one book. 
Oh, you're talking about one book of personal experiences in these different areas. I don't mind if you write four books. I just thought I'd make it simpler and tell you to write one. Okay. One book. Okay, so you have four volumes. My personal experiences. <laughs> There's a lot to write. No, 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 no. That's, what do you think it's going to have? Come on. Uh -huh. You've got a style that people recognize, identify with. Yeah. You're communicating. Yeah. You have something to say that's significant? Yeah. They see it? Yeah. That group sees it? That's your study group, right? Yeah. That's your test. They make sense. They love it. The writing group. Yeah. That's a separate, yeah. So I'm just suggesting, why don't you keep on going? Yeah, Wrap yeah. Wrap it up. Put it all in. Put it all in. Right. Well, you know, it's kind of like taking piano lessons. I think I need to take more writing lessons and go to... Oh, sure. I spent a couple of years learning on how to write, <laughs> even though you're telling me that you have the style that you're writing communicates completely with the people that you're with and they're right. studying writing, but you want to go study English. How long will it take you that? A couple of more years? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, this would just be a writing group. I think I need to get back into that. Bullshit. <laughs> and get my writing. <laughs> you don't need any No. You don't need any writing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that may be a distraction, a diversion. Yeah. Well, hmm. Look, I'll, I'll even help, okay? What's that? Okay. I'll try to collect from these people a fund so I can get you, we can buy some erasers, okay? <laughs> and pencils? Sure. And then we'll contribute? Yeah. The eraser, so oh, the pencils, good. Ballpoint pens too? Oh, good. Maybe two of each? Yeah, <laughs> we can do that. Actually, I have a modern computer now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but I do worry about it, the stuff being erased. Sure. I have had hard drives crash and I've lost everything. So. Do you have a hard drive? It's creepy. I have external hard drive. Good. Yes. I, I'm set. Get Jeff to show you how you can ring three of them in a row in case <laughs> one of them breaks. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, what if, you, um, what if you wrote each of these subjects as just a, as an essay? Yeah. And published, published each essay as a separate article in the journal of your choice. Uh -huh. And then when you get a number of these essays published, uh, then go back and put them together into a volume. Huh. Just break it down piecemeal like that. Yeah, that sounds good. Because I have stuff I'd like to get out. Uh, it's not fully developed. Uh, uh, how long will it take you to do it? You go ahead and do it. Come on, give me a date. For for one essay? Yeah. I could do an essay in a day. Right? Right? <laughs> right? Yeah, you yeah. can do it in a day. Just do it. I've been thinking Just about it. it forever. Right, and if you have seven days, you can do seven essays. Yeah. You don't have any trouble writing. Uh-uh. And telling the truth about what you see. <laughs> that's where it's going. I don't know. That's what it. That's that's what we're talking about. You know what would hit the fan? Yeah, yeah. What do you think you're going to do? Boy, oh, that's a good question. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's important. Hmm. See, it's a tough question, isn't it? How important is it to tell the truth about what you see? For yourself. For myself. For yourself. That's the interesting question. To get it out. Yeah. 
especially since you have a style which is highly, you know, very appreciated by people who you're studying with. Yeah. I think it's important. Yeah. But boy, when I, I, I do hear an inner voice that says, oh, it's just you. It's just personal trash. That's you know? the same guy. Yeah. He had one impact on you, didn't he? That's that same uncle. Why don't you tell us about his position in the family? What was he, the father, godfather? No, he was the... The money my, bags? My father's sister's husband. That, that doesn't tell me a damn thing. He was the rich, Thank the you. rich man. Oh, yeah, he was the king... King. He was yeah, in insurance true. companies, baseball teams, railroads. See, hey, hey, he was a big... That's isn't it? He's the high figure in the, the clan. He, yeah. Yeah. So what do you think you ought to tell him when you see him? Well, he's, he's passed on now. That this, doesn't so. matter. What would, if you bumped into him, what, would you, what do you think you ought to tell him? Besides telling him that I'm really much too young for him... <laughs> After that, um, I would tell him, um, I'm gone. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he really wasn't uh, someone I wanted to talk to. You let him off the hook. Yeah, I'd let him off the hook. Why? Ooh. Come on. Ideally, what would you have liked to have said? Like right now? Well, ideally, um, yeah. I would have... T see, that's... Uh, ooh. <coughs> um, boy, that's a good question. I mean, I've never been... A, uh, see, I, I'm up against the forces of... I mean, I could never say... Okay. In my family, we couldn't talk Just about anything that was... tell me what you think you ought to say to him. Cut through that. <laughs> Do it now. Hmm. Um... About Berkeley, that I, that idea, the issue of Berkeley you're talking about? About his whole life and his view. Well, he was a, he was a greedy, <coughs> gluttonous hey, kind way, of man. Would it be interesting to include him in your essays? <laughs> oh, I'd love to include him in my... You got he's him. just an archetype. You got him. He's just a That's the first chapter. Pig. That's the first chapter in your book. His power and the influence yeah. on everybody and the family and the whole Christian bullshit. Right. And the Would that be a good essay? Then you can put into it what you what you would have yeah, to have said I, to him. That would be a chapter that would be dripping good. with yeah. gluttony you, and yeah, what are you gonna riches write and tomorrow? Oh, shoot. Huh? Tomorrow is Saturday? Who, see, I don't know those <laughs> days, how many names they put on days. Um, I mean, oh, when are you, you going to write it? What am I going to write? So? What would it mean to you to write it? Come on. What? Huh, interesting. Hmm. Weird. All yeah, those images is. come up so powerfully. It is. But you can write very powerfully the truth. You lived it. You can write it. You're a gifted writer. Gonna do it? <laughs> um well. I don't know. I mean, I don't have a. I don't have a context. A, a purpose of ah, baloney. 
I mean, what, just talk about the conversation we I had? I don't know. Or about you can't, you don't want to come. Right. Oh, okay. Let's forget it. Right. No, I mean, it opens ah, up the whole thing it. of Berkeley. I mean, that's ah, what people it. are still fighting for. Is yeah. What do you think about baseball? Justice. We can talk about baseball now. I like baseball. <laughs> because I know nothing about it, therefore I can say a lot. I don't know. I think I need to talk to you more. No, you don't. Get my ideas straight. Ah. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, unless you have a couple of good questions, that, that yeah. always good for that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, but, you know, no, I mean, look, I strictly speaking, yeah. right? You could sit down and write about it. Yeah. Right. Why yeah. don't we wait and see what happens after you write about it and put into it ideally what you would have liked to have said to that guy? Right. He's the godfather of the family, isn't he? He's the big, <coughs> right? He's the big cheese. He's the big, he was he was a big cheese. Okay, hey, I don't mind him being. As long as I mean, big. I think my father's father was probably the bigger cheese. Well, then put them both then. That'd be a nice essay, wouldn't it, on your family? Can I include pictures? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will you look at the pictures? Yeah, you got some. Yeah, I got pictures of all of them. Good. In all their finest. Oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> Julie, is this, uh, just a quick question, is this the uh, uncle re related to the aunt that you and your mom went to go? Yeah, with? her husband. And they were, mm -hmm. that you've talked about before, they're so successful and they set the mom, they were the rich, rich ones in the family. Right. And you were the poor extension of the family going to live with them for a while when your dad pooped out, right? At their l lodge, at the at lake. At their lodge. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. Shoo, thanks, Pierre. Pleasure. Wow. Fun. That's getting a chance to talk about yeah. writing. <laughs> <laughs>